Uh, now the creator of Father Ted, he has had his Edinburgh Fringe uh, comedy show cancelled. You might be familiar with this story. It was cancelled by Leaf Arches. It then got a second venue. They cancelled it as well. Uh, and the venue went um, out. It basically took place on a little stage outside of Holyrood. Many people, I'll start with you, Daniel. Many people are saying that this is all about the fact that free speech, we say we've got free speech in this country. But actually, when you start questioning uh, various things, so, or if you believe, for example, a man is a man and a woman is a woman, then all of a sudden people get edgy, tetchy, and then cancellation kicks in again. So do we have freedom of speech? No, we don't have freedom of speech um, in this country. And uh, those with power and those with control of assets, like theatres and those with um, um, uh, influence in universities, um, have prohibited a whole load of things that we're not allowed to say anymore. Um, and uh, some of those things are bad things, perhaps things you shouldn't say. Um, others are, for most people, fairly straightforward, that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. They don't regard that as being a bad thing to say. Um, uh, uh, but, but you can now be harassed and you can be arrested, you can be taken away uh, for saying things like that and for causing offence. And a lot of this has now been put into law and, and it's called hate speech um, and so on. And so somebody like Graham Linehan finds himself on the receiving end of censorship for saying something that the vast majority of people believe. It is political correctness gone totally mad. Do you agree with that? I sort of agree with the first bit and really don't agree with the second bit. So I do think that um, our political and media discourse prevents lots of things from being said very much because either they're not in the interests of the politicians or their donors or they're not in the interests of the media companies or their owners. So you've got lots of very popular things that can't get spoken about very much in, uh, in politics or the media, like public ownership of water and energy, higher taxes for the rich, boosting the, boosting the minimum wage. These that things gets talked about all the time. The, no, it really, really, really Don't, doesn't. I've lost count of the amount of times I've had nationalisation um, debates on the show. For example, I've seen them in uh, only when I'm on. But um, no, uh, you know, it, it's got Thank you, very much. Uh, you know, no. public ownership has got you know uh, of utilities is supported by between two thirds and three quarters of the population. You don't hear about that very much. We don't discuss very much how we could boost wages. You know, all of these things. So yes. Powerful interests in society do set what can be spoken about in the in the public sphere, and we should be conscious of that. And that that is an issue. On this specific thing, um, I don't think that Graham Lyon has lost his ability to speak because his show has got way more attention being not shown at whatever comedy store that they they didn't want to ha have him on. Then if he had had on there, and he would probably get a, his own show on this channel, and you know he hasn't been, you know, hasn't been silenced in that way. And the things that he's no, saying, no, no, but he was silent. Whether or not he's now got a load of uh, interest and eyeballs as an aftermath or as a side effect, that's different. He was absolutely cancelled. When you saw the original statement that the uh, event company put out, and then hastily deleted when they realised the backlash and changed it for something else, they were categorically saying that this person's views do not align with their values, and that is why they had cancelled this person. So he categorically was cancelled. I mean, and then... But he hasn't lost his voice. He hasn't lost his ability to, to speak. But we see these sorts of things... Uh, all you're over the place. There were protests at drag James shows. There was a, fil no, there, there was a film about point. Jeremy Corbyn's leadership that got you're banned in lots point. of places. You're ignoring the fact this person was absolutely cancelled because of his opinions. What you're doing is you're saying because he's then had um, exposure as a result of that, then it's all fine. It's not fine. He shouldn't have been cancelled by that venue. Surely you agree with that? I'm not saying that it's fine. I do think that venues are allowed to have who they, you know, want on and and if they don't want him to... Really? To... So where would you draw the line then? So if a venue said, for example, I'm not going to have any black people in, would you sit there and say, well, you're a private venue, you can choose who you want in? Uh, no, because that's a breach of the law. But, if, but people saying that biological sex is real... Hold on, but... Those but, no, but, also but so, so, no... Um, they are. No, no. Uh, um, race, your, your racial identity is protected under the Equalities Act. Your views about uh, gender and sex aren't protected under the Equalities Act. Well, so one of them is please. a breach of the law Sorry, and the other one sex isn't. Sex is one of seven categories. So I said, your views, I said your views on sex and gender. But there's been multiple... I, as in, now. if a theatre had said that, tran, that trans people can't appear in it or gay people can't appear in it, uh, appear in it or men can't appear in it or so on and so forth, 
or black people, that is a breach of the Equalities Act. If your views are something, that isn't a breach of the law. So it's not the same thing. It's There's not an equivalent thing. There's been when people have been, uh, they've lost their jobs because of what are so-called gender-critical views or whatever the daft label is applied to them. And actually, those people, now when they've taken it to uh, tribunals or courts or whatever, they've won their cases and they've yeah, been I, discriminated I, 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 against. I think there are, there are plenty of cases when uh, employers act against their staff for things that aren't in the purview of their of their work, and as long as that isn't causing problems within the rest of their colleagues or so on and so forth, then if they're reinstated, that's that's all well and good. My point o overall is that yes, we have a restricted political debate, but the political debate is not being restricted on the particular issue that um, his show was not shown at its original scheduled venue, that issue, the, the, the issue of views on sex and gender, are well discussed in the political debate. They've had many more minutes of airtime, for example, on this programme than questions of public ownership, boosting pay, taxing the rich, things which have majority, huge supermajority support and are much more relevant to many more people's lives than what is quite a marginal issue. Well, I don't know. For me as a mum, I could tell you right now, this whole gender ideology and trans ideology in schools that I think is going to reach or I feel would reach my child and affect his life and future, that for me uh, is way more uh, of interest than who earns my water supply. But maybe that's just me.